we're all partners. Everybody has something they can use for God. Everybody has something they can, they can do that's unique and that is special and that is, is our way of being able to, to serve God in the world that He's placed us. It's exciting to me to see how we can begin to help other Christians People who are already connected in church, they already give to missions, they're already aware of missions. They don't really quite know how they can help individually. And that's, that's one thing that I want to help do, is help people understand how they can use their own resources and their own gifts and what their own calling can be to minister to their community right outside the walls of their church. I believe in the church, I have hope in the church surviving. And I, I want people in churches to be about the work of missions and to find ways that they can do that. I will be working with the Romani team coordinating projects in the Czech Republic. I see myself as a liaison between our projects, the Czech Baptists, and the Romani in general in the Czech Republic. I think for my passion for working with the Romani came when I was first working as a GSC here in the Czech Republic. I saw how the Roma were treated here and the difficulties that they faced. And I really began to feel a passion for those people. There's so much work to be done here and there are so many options that will come up that I will be able to, to help in working with the Romani. I hope to be able to use my passion to bridge the gap between the Roma and the Czech Christians. My name is Ryan Clark. My wife Cindy and I will be serving at the Baptist Seminary in the Philippines. Baptists have started work uh, in the last century all over the world, and that work is not complete. And what Cindy and I will be doing is really supporting the work that's been ongoing, but also supporting a growing Christianity that's flourishing in Asia and be able to support that in empowering local leaders to go out really all over the world and to share the gospel and the good news. Following God or answering call isn't a decision you make because it makes sense. Us quitting our jobs in this economic time does not make sense. Us moving a one-year-old to a country on the other side of the world doesn't make sense, trying to sell our house. But we can't imagine anything else because just inside, I know that it's the right thing. It's what we know we're we're to do and where we're supposed to be, it makes it okay, even though it doesn't logically completely make sense. My name is Jimmy Cole, and Anjani and I are from Abilene, Texas. We will be serving in Soria, Spain. We were introduced to CBF by Joel and Tiffany Whitley. And that was about the same time that God had changed our hearts, or my heart, for missions. And we had the opportunity to go watch CBF in action, basically, with Tiffany and Joel in Spain for a couple of weeks with our children. And we really liked uh, what we saw, and it seemed to just, just the shoe seemed to fit perfectly for us. The reason why we chose CBF uh, is a very strong testimony, I believe. When you have two incredibly powerful entities, one of them being a an insatiable desire and passion and vision to do what God has called you to do, and you fuse that with an organization that says, uh, let's do this together. Uh, it's powerful. It's a privilege to live and to work alongside the people of Southeast Asia. The existence of the riverboat ministry is, it's a lifelink for a lot of people. We're talking about villagers who are cut off from modern forms of media. They don't have access, a lot of them, to electricity on a regular basis, no clean water. The river is their life, even though the river is the dirtiest thing about that particular area. God loves us with no strings attached. And I think that it's only fair that we do the same. And that's what this, this boat and the people that work on it are. They are love and care and medical assistance with no strings attached and that's what those people need. In a relationship, we build trust, and in trust we are blessed because we're given that access into the vulnerable places of people's lives, and that's really a gift. I think as Christians, uh, missions should be a part of our life. You know, 
for, for every Christian. So what an exciting thing to do, what an what a honor that is to, to glorify God in that way, to be a part of His plan um, to reach the world, to share um, love with this world. Since the day uh, I became a Christian, uh, or immediately know how a missionary can can touch your life, you know, because a missionary touched my life and invited me at the church. That is why for me, is I need, I want to, to share with people because if this missionary didn't come in my hometown, I uh, will probably not be safe today. This isn't about Camille going or Michael going, but I think this is this is about, you know, God loving this world and we, you know, get to be a part of that. And so it's not about me or not about the CBF, but it's about God and, and all of us and His call to go and to be a part of what He's doing. And so I am uh, so excited and honored to do that. And I'm excited for, for all of CBF and, and all of us to be a part of that. I'm Becca Hart and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, my husband Blake and I will be going to the northern part of Chile uh, to work with the Aymara people. Mission is a call that everybody experiences. Those of us being commissioned are not some super saints who are going off to serve in foreign lands. We're just people following the call that we feel like God's placed on our hearts. And God places calls on all of our hearts to be missionaries, to be ministers of His peace, of His grace, to the people that we're among. I feel like I'm alive when I'm doing missions. I feel like it's who God made me to be. It's not a sacrifice that I have to make to go somewhere and to, to share Christ's love. I feel like it's just a natural part of me. Every time I saw some more injustice or some other instance of someone suffering that that I couldn't see that and, and do nothing. And, and from that point on, I have felt myself sort of led and guided and never could escape from the thought that mission service was what I might be called to. I'm Jenny Jenkins and I am currently a nurse in Nashville, Tennessee. I am interested in continuing to work in Haiti. have been working as a nurse there on and off for the past three years in very short-term mission trips and am looking to seek a more full-time experience down there. Haiti has always sort of had a disjointed sense of medical care and uh, the infrastructure has always been a bit of a mess and then certainly that's compounded with the earthquake. I also see it as, as an opportunity for rebuilding. I may not be able to fix and certainly cannot fix all of the problems of Haiti, but I can affect one person and I can be Christ to one person and in turn hopefully that person can carry that light on. When you have someone who you wouldn't ordinarily meet on any given day, but you want them to see God somehow before they leave your presence and they go away, and you've given them this gift, it's manifested itself in their tears, that's my passion. I want to give that gift to these people no matter who they are and what they look like. It's a shame, I think, for many people like myself to have been able to hone skills over a 30 to 35 year career. And then when we finally got fairly good at them, to put them on the shelf and to not use them anymore. Or when we finally understood what grace really meant in our life, to not go out and share that grace with everybody that we could possibly come in contact with. I am convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that God allows things to happen in your life so that at some point in time you will grasp just how important He has been to you and then you can go out and tell just how important He can be to somebody else. My name is Mark Williams and Sarah and I uh, hope to be serving in South Africa with the Arise Ministry Group. The Arise Ministry Group was started by Cheryl and Don Allen, who started a ministry that many Baptists know is called the Door of Hope. And so what they want is to reach the neglected children in Africa and to help plant churches to support some of the, the children and provide resources and, and network with these churches. I think it's important as, as people of Christ when we want to follow what our call is in life to know who our resources are and try to do it in the best way that, that we can and be the best people that we can and, 
and by being a part of the fellowship and what that means. It's not just an organization, but it's a, an organization that has far-reaching hands, that has the partnership and commitment of lots of other people and organizations to partner with others who are like-minded in ministry and like-minded in the fact that we're we're all children of God and we all care about people and have different gifts and abilities than me, then I feel like Mark and I will be better at what we want to do and better at serving the people of South Africa.